It feels like just another day in the lab, when all of a sudden, the cells you're doing genetic experiments on turn into a monster, grow 10,000 times bigger, and start to terrorize the city you live in. And it's up to you to save the world. This is the life of a biologist in maybe a movie. Alas, a career in biology will not have you accidentally creating monsters in a lab, but it can lead you to exciting professional discoveries, like life-saving vaccines or new species. Even though there are many different career paths, people who are interested in biology share a similar goal, helping us understand more about living things, including ourselves. Hi, I'm Hank Green, and welcome to Fast Guides, a study hall series presented in partnership with Arizona State University and Crash Course. In this episode, we will be focusing on biology. Biology is the science of all living things, which includes a lot of stuff. The origin of life, how our bodies work, how plants reproduce, why some animals are social and some aren't. And I'm just barely scratching the surface here. Life is an extremely broad topic, and one that we have been studying for a long time, and so we know a lot about it. We know so much, way more than you think we know, which is why you need to go to school if you want to learn about it. But there is also a lot that we don't know about life. Getting a degree in biology is both about acquiring all that knowledge that people have worked for centuries to attain, and then applying that knowledge to solve new problems and answer new questions. Studying biology also helps us understand important things about our human needs, like what a healthy lifestyle means for different people, or how to develop medicine to help us recover from illness and injury. It also paves the way for fundamental answers about the Earth and our universe, like the molecular basis for life and how changes to the environment affect living organisms. You can take your pick of subfields depending on what part of life you're most interested in, from anatomy to zoology. I'll run you through some options rapid fire. Anatomy is the study of body structure. Astrobiology is the study of how life could exist off Earth. Biochemistry is about chemical processes and living things at the cellular and molecular level. Bioclimatology is about the effect of climate on living things and the environment, and bioengineering is about a engineering design ideas to living things to make new technologies. Botany is the study of plants. Evolutionary biology is the study of how species change across generations. Genetics is about how things are inherited and all that DNA and RNA stuff. Marine biology studies life in saltwater. Microbiology is about tiny life. Physiology is about how bodies work. And zoology is about how animals work. And I could keep going. Many of the fields I mentioned are even whole majors in their own right, because there is just so much to learn about life. Even if you don't think you're a science person, biology can be a great way to test the waters, because there's seriously something for everyone. You'll learn the skills to talk about and draw conclusions between all kinds of living things, and can use this foundational knowledge in a lot of different career paths or advanced degrees. Now, while earning a degree in biology, which might have a slightly different name at your school, like life sciences or biological sciences, you can expect to take plenty of science classes, like genetics, biochemistry, ecology, cell structure, molecular biology, biology, and anatomy and physiology. All of these classes help build your vocabulary to learn and talk about living things, from a huge scale like ecosystems to a tiny scale like knowing what goes on inside cells. Sometimes you will learn about concepts like homeostasis, which is the idea that living things generally maintain a stable internal environment, like how humans maintain a normal body temperature. But you'll also gain important skills that you will need for the rest of your career in science, like how to design and conduct experiments. And you can also expect to take math-related courses, like calculus, physics, or biostatistics. Even though some biology classes can involve memorizing lists of muscles and how they're connected to each other, others involve calculating probability or modeling chemical reactions. Mathematical models are used frequently in genetics, ecology, and many other scientific fields. For example, you might use data about a species' behavioral patterns to estimate its population in a designated area. Many programs include a lab and research requirement or provide opportunities for science-based internship. After all, college isn't just about learning how to learn. It's building upon past research and using what we know about life to ask more questions about it. And that often involves lab experiments. Plus, the relationships you make along the way can only be helpful later in your career. So overall, biology is a great major for students who are interested in science and want to understand the human body or other living organisms more deeply. Typically, students who have strong analytical skills are able to handle long 
hours and a wide variety of subjects, and Embrace Adventure are especially well-suited for this major. And depending on the lab component, since some schools include dissection as part of the curriculum or research, it can help to have something of a strong stomach. And like I mentioned earlier, biology is a broad topic with lots of specializations you can choose from, which your program might offer as concentration options or upper-level courses like microbiology, cellular and molecular biology, or marine biology. So because the study of life can take you down a lot of different career paths, biology can be a good major for people who want to keep their options open. Maybe you'll head into a program thinking you want to learn about medical technology, but find a hidden passion in studying insects. And if you choose to take on a double major or minor, you might consider one that helps you understand humans better, such as psychology or sociology, especially if you hope to go into a field like medicine that focuses on people rather than non-human animals or plants. Or you might want to learn a common language, such as Chinese or Spanish, to help you communicate with more people in the future. Or something like chemistry can deepen your scientific knowledge, especially since many of the course requirements and topics will likely overlap. Or you can go in a direction that helps with data analysis, like computer science or statistics. There are a lot of opportunities with a biology major. But of course, there are also a lot of challenges. A major challenge that biology majors face is more philosophical. Like a lot of the big or deepest questions in biology often result in more questions than answers, from how to treat a single disease or or even generally understand how brains work. It can be hard to pick specific biological questions that you want to devote your work to, and it can be tough to stay persistent and not take no for an answer as you're doing experiment after experiment. Hungarian-American biochemist Katalin Kariko spent over 40 years on her research before it eventually contributed to the COVID-19 vaccine, saving millions of lives. It's a prime example of how answers can seem elusive and daunting at times, but how perseverance and collaboration with other scientists can result in some pretty important work. Another challenge might be that students majoring in biology are going to take a lot more science and lab courses than someone majoring in something like business or even psychology. These classes can take up more time, and some students claim that the demands of a biology degree can limit your personal time. So it's good to be prepared for that ahead of time. And because the paths after graduation vary so greatly, it's important to have, or to form along the way, a clear idea of what you would like to do after graduation graduation. Or else, you might not be able to strategically plan your course load over your four-year education. Or you might struggle with choosing what internship you'd like to explore during your time in school. And depending on the career path you choose, you could be in for a very long, sometimes expensive road if it involves more school, like becoming a doctor or other medical professional. So if you start biology and you find that it's not the major for you, and it's not too late in your program to switch, you might consider another major in the sciences, such as chemistry or psychology. You might even be able to transfer some credits over, but be sure to check the specifics of your programs before you make the leap. As far as after college goes, biology majors can enter the workforce right away with a variety of different careers. For example, you can become a biological technician, where the median salary is around $45,000 per year, and you can help out in a variety of labs or other research facilities. Or you could become a health communication specialist and help others better understand their health and treatment while making around $63,000 per year, though there's a huge variety of salaries as a health communication specialist. But these are just two examples. There are also tons of other jobs you could take on depending on your interests and experiences, like forest ranger, or zoo worker, or botanist. Many students who graduate with a biology degree go on to further education, which can prepare you to be a genetic counselor who makes around $81,000 per year and assesses the risk of hereditary birth defects and genetic disorders. Or you might be a biochemist, where the median salary is $94,000 per year and study chemistry as it relates to biology. Biology majors can also go into teaching, usually after getting some sort of teaching certification, though it depends on the state and the school. High school biology teachers make around $45,000 per year. Or you might pursue education, like a PhD, and teach at a college or a university. With more education, you might also perform your own research, have it published, or become recognized in your field in other ways. Biology is also a popular major for people who hope to one day become doctors or dentists and go on to medical school after graduation. No matter what career path you choose, biology graduates also learn skills that can be transferred to whatever they decide to do next. They learn skills like time management, how to publish research, how to communicate findings, scientific fluency, awareness of industry trends, and research skills. Not to mention that biologists tend to love what they do, because you have so many different options that you'll probably find something you enjoy eventually. Some of these careers will require longer 
hours in labs or communicating with people, but most people feel that it's worthwhile. So while you might not be fighting giant monsters or curing the zombie apocalypse, a career in biology could lead you to some of the most interesting and critical work that you can imagine, from working with animals to helping us learn how to take care of our bodies. Depending on your career, you may spend time in the field, in the lab, behind a desk, or at conferences. But it will all be towards learning about life on and potentially off of Earth, and making an impact on humanity through your work and your research. Ultimately, we need biologists to understand ourselves and continue to grow as a society. Thank you for watching! If you want to investigate more degrees before you choose a major, like we all should, check out our other videos to look into more majors to find one that's right for you. This series is part of the Study Hall program, a partnership between Arizona State University and Crash Course. If you liked this video or found it helpful, give it a like and comment to let us know how you chose your degree or how you are struggling to choose a degree or what you wish you had known before you started your degree.